gentlemen, welcome to the Pop Art 100 channel. And today we're gonna to be looking at a couple J. Scott Campbell books. This is Violet and we also have Red. Now these are two books that sort of go with the series uh, that we looked at a little bit earlier, the green, white, orange, and blue uh, series, um, except these don't have um, numbers on the side. Those were numbered one through four and these are just kind of extra. Um, the other thing that are a little bit different about these, um, these are autograph copies, which, you know, uh, to be honest with you, I have so many J. Scott Campbell autographs, I don't think it means anything anymore. Um, you know, I think if you have a really certain piece in your collection from him that you really enjoy and you want him to sign it, that would make it extra special. That's great. I also so lean on the fence of do you want to sign something like a, a print or a, a statue or something like that and then you know kind of ruin the value but then again maybe it adds more value it's kind of up to the person i don't buy animation cells typically with autographs on them because i want the cell preserved so it's really up to you but anyway these, these have autographs you know it doesn't mean a whole lot um to me at least um but yeah so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these books and uh let's get started all right we got red we got violet I'm more of a purple guy. <laughs> Do you say purple? I say purple. A lot of people say violet. Now, I, uh, these books, it says red, it says violet, and they've got that theme at least through the first cover, and I really like how they take the cover image and then just kind of carry it over in a sketch fashion. And I'd show you the same thing here, just with a back view. Um, that's, a really, that's a really cool thing. I really like that. Beyond that, though, I kind of feel like as you go along here, you lose the color scheme. So, so for me, like let's go ahead and start. What here says red? <laughs> none of it, none of this is red to me. And I'm I'm okay. Like I just thought when I heard about these that this was going to be kind of like red. I mean, his tongue's red. I thought it was going to be very much focused on the color red. And that was going to be predominant throughout in a very visible way. That is not the case here. In my opinion, this has got just a little bit of red. Um, and I'm not saying that you need to stick with that theme, but then why, why call the book Rab Fishing Red Collection? Like, I'm not even call the book Red and have a red cover, but the Rab Fishing Red Collection kind of seems like Rab Fishing Red is the descriptor adjective there. Um... And this, okay, I would accept this one. This is red, this is red included, maybe even this, it's kind of orange, but okay. And this is not red. There's no red in here. I mean, they're just, they're, they're cool prints, but I, I'm just struggling with the notion of the color scheme. Ooh, we have a fold out version. We've seen this in some other books that we've looked at kind of recently. So some of the, some of the items are repeat um, from collection eh, to collection. Rab fishing red. This is not red. <laughs> this is not red. This is not red. This is not red. This is not red. The page number is red. Forty. <laughs> this is uh, maybe kind of reddish. It's oranges, but I'll accept it. It's in the. It's in the red. It's red adjacent. <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing about this. They have an orange book, <laughs> so put this in the orange book. This is green. <laughs> this is blue. Okay, there's some red in here. I would accept this. It has at least some red, but some of these drawings have no red in them whatsoever. Just absolutely no red. So for me, I don't, I, I just feel like they didn't, this, this is not red. It's violet or purple. I have a violet and purple book right here. <laughs> I just don't know why they, they went with that. I really, I really, 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 really love this uh, cover here. And I like how they went ahead and did that stuff with the front back view and the sketches of what's on top and they have the back stuff there. I just don't understand the red notion and I'm sure I'm gonna feel the same way about purple. Now, if this, oh, let's just make a call here. Let's just go back here. I'm gonna keep this page open. I'm gonna keep it open. If this drawing, and even this one has purple, if the if this one specifically is not in this book, we're calling it quits. Video's over immediately. <laughs> Which, if we've gotten through the whole book and we haven't seen it, that means we've looked at the entire book, and so the video would pretty much be over anyway. However, comments the principle of the thing. I'll I'll just say I'm gonna end it there. Okay, we got some purple here. I'm I'm liking it. And some Dorothy and Oz. Like in the purple. There's some red stuff. I don't remember seeing that in that book. Yeah, what is that cursed cat? 
I don't know what this one is. It is cursed. Uh, this one's uh, cool. The um, Sideshow Toys did a uh, statue of this one. Uh, it's kind of cool to see the print version of that. I don't have that myself. A little bit of purple here. Look at that. We're, we're on a roll. I've not seen this print yet. Remember, we're going to end the video immediately upon not seeing it, which will be at the very end because that would be the last page and it's a whole thing. Hold on. Oh, it's a fold out one. That's why I was struggling. Oh, it's a fold out. I like this. It's a real long one. Let's see if I can get the rest of it there. Yeah, that's a kind of a cool one. It's really long. So they must have, I don't know if this was maybe a series, like uh, maybe this was a comic book cover, comic book cover, comic book cover, and they kind of go together, perhaps? I could definitely look it up because it would surely be in the back of the book in their handy dandy little index. Thank you, Brand brand studio, brand Press Studios. They did a good job with that. And too bad I don't think, I think they're defunct and not available. If that's not true, Brand Studios, I'm sorry. I thought that you didn't exist because I thought I bought at your liquidation sale. But if I did not... Um, I apologize. <laughs> if it was not your liquidation sale, maybe it was just a, a company that was selling your items. I, look, look, you're getting dangerously close to me ending the video abruptly and promptly. I have got to get this print. I have got to get this. This is a, this is a cool print. The uh, steampunky, it's got the little dog in the corner. I've got to own that. That's just a, that's just a nice, a nice print. You have got to be kidding me. This thing with the purple is not in here. It's over. The video is over. The video is over. Go, go to the outro. Go to the outro. We're going to end it. Two additional books to be added to the, the color collection series. Again, I don't know why they chose colors because I didn't really see them leaning too hard into a particular color in these books. So I, I don't know. It was just a way that they could... Put them on the shelf and organize them. I have no clue. But I, I don't really see the, the color tie-in as much as maybe they were trying to or maybe they weren't trying and I missed the point. But um, still cool books. Uh, still a great part to have in my collection. Um, we're going to be doing quite a few of these other series with J. Scott Campbell books. I have quite a few of them. Uh, his Time Capsule, uh, the Rough Stuff Lineology, uh, those other four books within this series and some other Marvel stuff. So um, we'll go ahead and do those uh, soon in a few videos. If not, they might already be posted. So uh, thanks for watching the Pop Art Hunter channel. Hopefully you like, subscribe, comment on all those sorts of things and we will see you next time.